Okay, here we are with the test robot again. And rather than doing the usual course, I'm going to just have the robot go back and forth in a straight line and then do some spins. And it's going to start out at a speed of 20, and then it should increment um, by this by it'll increment in intervals of 20. Now the LEDs on the side there indicate which wheel is ahead and by how much. So it, each LED position is an encoder tick. And if the red LEDs light, then it means the left wheel is ahead. If the green LED lights, then the right wheel is ahead. And we're going to have it go forward and backwards for the for the first few speeds. So it doesn't seem to do as well backwards as it does forwards. I think this is a speed of 60 here. See, it does pretty well going forward. I'm not sure if I have two forties or how many of, of each speed I have. So again, going backwards, we get a lot more air. And the air is the right wheel is spinning faster than the left. But not by a lot though. That's the position error. So this should be the speed of 60. Because this is the last time we'll go backwards because it's just going too fast and it doesn't do very well going backwards fast. Okay, here's a speed of 80. Going pretty quickly. And it knows the faster we go, it seems like the more error we get in the encoder ticks. That's doing pretty well though. You see a couple little flashes. Now it's going to head back out towards the center and do some spins. And these spins will increment in speed of, at 10 speed units um, per turn cycle here. So I'm pretty sure this is spinning at the speed of 10. I'm getting quite a bit of uh, air on the encoders. It's off by what, four or five encoder ticks? And there's definitely more air going one direction than the other. When it spins to the left, it tends to have more air than when it spins to the right. to about 30 I think is our speed now. And as you can see we're getting more air. And spinning to the right, but we don't get a lot of air. Spinning to the left, the air should probably will likely go up. Oh, but it's not too bad. Oh, there it goes. So it does appear that we have enough air in the encoders that there's uh, room for improvement and that I could, if I added an integral component as the robot traveled 
it would probably be helpful. Okay, and that was it. Okay, so that's basically to illustrate how much error we have with the encoders um, as it is right now. The error is not noticeable if I just have it run the usual course, do a rectangle, and then a couple figure eights. There's error in the figure eight, but it's because the wheels are turning at different speeds anyway. Um, but this going straight and just doing you know little turns, there's just not much error at all. But it, I think there are places where the error could be pr problematic, and it's probably worth fixing.